You're going to add some dried spices. I just spilled spices! What's up guys, it's Danae from Hello Well. In a world of frappuccinos and fast food, I don't know about you, but I'm just trying to live the healthiest life possible. So as I go through that process, I'm here sharing it with you guys. I'm trying to live a Hello Well life, right? So today we are making some almond pulp crackers. These are gluten-free. They're also vegan. So this is kind of a part two video. If you saw my how to make almond milk video, you would have seen we had some leftover almond pulp in that video. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to make some crackers out of that leftover almond pulp. All right. So basically you are going to need the pulp from one batch of almonds. You can go back to the almond milk video if you haven't seen that one to know how many almonds that is. All right, so in a bowl, you're gonna combine that with one tablespoon of ground flax. You can just buy whole flax seeds and then blend them in your Vitamix, which is what I did. So a tablespoon of that, we're gonna add in some fresh, not fresh. <laughs> we're not going fresh today, guys. We're gonna add some dried spices. I personally am gonna go with a little parsley. So one teaspoon of dried parsley and love rosemary and some sea salt you're gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of himalayan i i personally like himalayan sea salt they say it's the best for you uh a little garlic the more garlic the better right guys so i'm gonna add in two cloves that's that's not that bad i honestly i, I could probably put four in here and enjoy that quite nicely. But I would say for most people, one to two cloves is probably what most people are gonna like. All right, so you've got your minced garlic. After you got your garlic in, we're going to add three tablespoons of olive oil. This is it, you guys. This is all the recipe calls for. So no wheat. So many more people nowadays are becoming intolerant to wheat. Okay, just stir your pulp up. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks disgusting. <laughs> Disclaimer, actually, my boyfriend thinks that these crackers taste like dust. But I feel like that's how boys are. They eat burgers and fries and anything even remotely healthy they think tastes like bird food so they don't taste like dust to me i like them quite a bit okay so you're gonna get a piece of parchment paper and put your pulp on the parchment paper i'm gonna form it into a little ball like so slap that bad boy down i'm gonna cover it with a piece I'm gonna cover it with another piece of parchment paper and uh, roll that bad boy out. Okay, that's probably good. So, I'm going to put it on my cooking tray now. Okay, can you guys see this? So this is what it looks like now. You've got a big pulp cracker pancake. Now you're gonna cut them into cracker squares. So just take a knife and just cut in your qu quacker. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't see today. Cut in your cracker lines. Mmm, that rosemary smells good, girl. If you're a super perfectionist, obviously you can like cut them in perfect squares and cut off the ends so that it's a perfect square. I am uh, not going to be serving these to anybody since my boyfriend thinks they taste like dust. I'm going to be the only one eating them. So I don't really care that much what they look like. I just want to put them in my face hole. <laughs> Looks good. So then you're going to take a fork and just stab little holes in the center. Just stab 
Can you guys see this? Just stab in the center of a cracker so that they cook more thoroughly. All right, so after you've done that, we're gonna put them in the oven now. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna put them in the oven for 20 minutes. All right, so I just took the crackers. I actually checked them at the 15 minute mark. Sometimes, depending how thin you've rolled the pulp, they can cook up a lot faster. So I usually check them at the 15 minute mark. And as you can see, these ones on the side here are a little bit crispy. So I'm actually gonna take these ones out because those are like, those are fully done. Those are fully cooked. All right, so now I'm just flipping all the crackers over. I personally like to also break them apart at this point just to make sure that they are separate from one another. Don't burn your little thingies. These are some hot crackers. All right, once you've got them all flipped over, we're gonna put them back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. So definitely with these crackers, you wanna watch them. Once again, depending how thin you've rolled the uh, almond pulp, they're gonna be ready at different times. So five to 10 minutes back in the oven. Alrighty guys, just pulled the rest of the crackers out of the oven and as you can see, delicious. Hot, but so good. So these crackers are vegan, they're gluten free, they're delicious on their own, but you will lose your mind if you dip these in like a cashew nut cheese. If you made a little plate, like these crackers, nut cheese, olives, so good you guys, so good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this recipe, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna continue to share lots of plant-based healthy recipes. So if you wanna come along on uh, my journey, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.